literally it's going to be about five knots this morning and don't have a crew things are a little bit slow because of the, the roads it's only really added on, on another half an hour from Auckland coming through Waihi and Whangamata not really a major but um, yeah definitely town feels quiet <laughs> it's almost like it used to be 20 years ago to be honest in town really quiet but uh, it's really quite beautiful and well worth the trip down if you're thinking of coming down for a fish anyway lots of people ask me while they're out on the boat I've been guiding for about 20 years they often ask me do you get sick of fishing and if you get a day off do you go fishing and it's like I'm like too right I go fishing that's what I love doing love getting out on the water and I do love days on my own um, you know, as men, we can quite often spend a, time, a lot of time looking after others, our family, uh, making sure there's food on the table, roof over people's head, everyone's happy. Um, a lot of time we don't do stuff for ourselves and I think it's important to uh, just go and do stuff on your own from time to time and um, you can spend some time while you're doing that, just looking inwards and um, contemplating life and uh, I love days on the water like this, just go with the flow. I'll just film it as I go, show you a little lens on what I do if I just go, go out on my own and have a little bit of float, float around. I think it's important for me to get out on my own as well and just have a, do a bit of research and that way um, next charter I'm going to be on the pulse and even if I've had a day off I know what's going on out here. Wowzers, look at that sun. When's the last time you saw a sunrise like that? Absolutely magic. Well, I better get on and try and catch some fish. Tasting fish in the ocean, beautiful smoke, but beautiful in the pan. Oh, look at the teeth on that sucker. He's a goodie, he's a real goodie. Coromandel's been in the news a lot with cyclones and slips and road closures. This is what it's looked like a lot of the time for me though over summer and autumn. Beautiful, tropical, inky blue water out off the coast, not too far from the Aldi's and you can't beat that therapeutic value of being out there in the, in the deep blue. The mode appearing, observing, watching the current lines, where the fish are, the bait fish. Here I've got a teaser out and three of my favorite lures, a kraken, a trojan, on my favorite position, the short rigger, plus a de-shackle. I'm all harnessed up, ready to go, because when that marlin comes along solo, On a marlin solo! I'm on a marlin solo. <laughs> I'm on a marlin solo. Um, found some real good skippies up on the surface this morning. And um, just worked the area. Held in there for, I know it's been about an hour working it. And uh, marlin came in and slammed the Lumo Trojan, my favourite lure on the short rigger. Charged straight back at me, just awesome. I just took out the slack line before I wound all the other 
lines in, I had four lures out. Yeah, just charged straight back at me. Just pulled the rod out of the um, rod holder and just wound in all that line that he's charging straight back at me with. Awesome display, man. So cool. And uh, yeah, got to go to work now. It's going to be interesting. Just got his shoulders out right by the boat there. Holy! Came straight at me. About 20 minutes in. And uh, pretty close to the boat. Whew. Right now, catching a marlin solo doesn't seem like the greatest idea. <laughs> pretty hot work. Got the wind on here, he's tracking pretty fast with me. About then, my video, which is my iPhone, died, but I can confirm. After an interesting tussle, I did get it in the boat. And on the way back, I managed to run into a crew, which uh, got a little photo here for me. So thanks to the crew and Mabel. Uh, got it home, put it in the chiller, and the next morning I uh, did it the justice of uh, chopping it up myself, which um, I quite like. Uh, Having that connection with the fish that you're going to eat and doing the, the mahi of um, taking the fillets off myself. Kept a fair bit for uh, eating for the whanau back at home and the rest went off to the smoker. And um, from all indications from the smoker, he reckons a fish of about 130 kilo, which sort of matched up with my measurements of the length and girth of the fish. And uh, I reckon um, Marlin's really good tucker, um, especially, you know, summer and autumn, eating in season. One fish feeds so many people, not only our Fano and friends, just giving you know giving it away to lots of people in the community as well. And uh, really amazing fish. So many ways you can eat it. Uh, some of my favourites, um, fresh marlin sashimi, uh, putting it in like an omelette or something like that um, for, for lunch, just the little off cuts off the skeleton, putting it in an omelette. Um, yeah, like I said, sashimi, ceviche. Uh, comes up really well. Nice firm fish to put on kebabs as well, which would be one of my favourite. In March, I hosted another one of our men's wellbeing retreats with uh, an awesome bunch of fellas, Dan, Dave and Chris. And these retreats are all about getting back to nature, dialing back the stress, turning off the screens, dialing away from the news and uh, putting your bare feet on the sand and the earth and going for some snorkels, catching some good kai, connecting with other men who might be going a bit of, through a bit of stuff as well and letting um, the good kai we've collected and nature do the healing. Uh, you spend a bit of time on the water out at the ornaments and so on, fishing and eating good food and yarning and cooking over fire looking at the stars at night yes. and uh, what a magic time with some good men. Good fisherman, I think, is a good observer and by being out in nature and amongst the ocean and the earth, we start to observe the natural rhythm of things. The sun coming over the horizon and then setting at the end of the day. Where the moon is in the sky, what the wind's doing, what the birds are doing. These retreats take us back to being in nature and back to the rhythm of life to reset and rejuvenate. Also got my fair share of clients out for the usual day trips, chasing, uh, chasing a feed of fish. They've come from everywhere, Uzbekistan, Australia, United States. We've had some really good times with some cool crews. Uh, the weather's not amazing there, but it's fine into a pretty spectacular afternoon and um, we've been having some awesome fishing. Kingfish, marlin, blue nose, cavalli, snapper, you name it. Uh, we, we haven't been short on uh, rod bending action and good times on the water. 
Uh, kingfish have been around in good numbers. The, there's been a lot of fishing offshore, really, uh, this season because of the swell and uh, the, the winds predominantly being in the east. Normally, over summer and autumn, would have um, some cracker fishing on the coast, but uh, we haven't had to go too far. The blue water's been sort of inside the Ottomans a lot, and um, sort of just just shy of the Ottomans on the outskirts of the Ottomans is where we've had most of the action. Uh, a lot of times, we're fishing um, a lot shallower than the rest of the year, and amongst the bait and the shallower pins, and uh, having some really amazing times with a good good bunch of people. And I've had just a, a choice summer and autumn, so. Thanks to everyone who's come out. In between fishing trips, when I'm not on the water, I'm quite often in working on my land. Bringing the land back, it was just bare clay when we got it. And uh, she's frying now. Behind me, uh, got some ricotto chilies, sapote, banana, got elder for elderberries, some beans and squash growing pretty wild uh, along some manuka I staked up. Uh, somewhere up the back there, there's um, oh, that way, there's tamarillo, nasturtium around it, guavas up on the hill, more sapote. Yeah, just pottering along and um, yeah, end up with um, lots of fish frames that I use to feed all these plants as well. So it's a good way. I've done a few trips on the water. I save up all my guts and frames. I don't really gut anything at sea anymore. Do it all on land and um, bring it home to feed my plants. With all this gardening and regeneration of our land going on and with my love of cooking using fresh veggies and herbs out of the garden to go with my fresh fish and uh, using that on retreats. One of the things that really lit my fire in the last week was going on a bit of a break and um, workshop myself and being a passenger for a change and I went on a two-day food forest workshop which um, I learned a lot more about uh, growing some really cool plants um, in New Zealand. Lots of plants like uh, pineapples and bananas we consider to be tropical but you can actually grow them in New Zealand and um, I look forward to sharing some of the insights that I learned along the way and putting in practice back on the land at the moment um, and uh, yeah I think it goes really well with uh, fishing and hunting. Cooking and nutrition is a big part of what I do now and I uh, recently had a regular client get in touch a few weeks ago wanting to come back down to Tidera for a bit of a reset a week away from screens and phones and um, his job and just out in nature and eating well chilling out eating good food rejuvenating the body and i thought i'd show you how i stock up for a week like this of uh, cooking so uh, plenty of good plants and veggies organic preferably lots of stuff out of my garden herbs and plants and and uh, here's a little um the start of a roast chicken underway for the first lunch and uh, uh, a bit of a hungy pot um, lots of good seasoning of course and um, it's a bit of incense burning to set the vibe and uh, heaps of good teas and um, it's important to stock the pantry and be prepared with good healthy ingredients you know nuts is um, one of the best ways to get protein in fact um, I essentially stock for a ketogenic or paleo week plenty of protein free-range eggs, good oils, and um, plenty of goodness in the fridge. Non-alcoholic drinks, kombuchas, coconut yogurt. Free-range locally smoked bacon, mushies, tomatoes, plenty more plants like celery, and most importantly, non-alcoholic drinks, uh, kombuchas, good for the gut, um, juices. And here's a look at some of the kai, like Ikamata Trevally out of the harbour. A Thai beef salad with uh, fresh beetroot out of the garden. Just beautiful, fresh ingredients you can't go wrong. And a bit of a broth from from the chicken with some veggies. Pan fried snapper we snuck out for a bit of a fish in the harbour. 
um, Trevelli Shashimi at straight out of the harbour. Pork belly omelette. Beautiful. Bit of smoked fish on some uh, cucumber crackers. Paleo style smoked fish crackers. Green omelette. Good way to break the fast. And um, nice healthy dessert. Looking up a paleo passion fruit tart. So you can have something sweet and still eat well. That's uh, my one pot hungy. Got a nice fresh salad to go with the roast chop. Stuffed with heaps of herbs and veggies. Beautiful. Fresh produce. You can't go wrong. Shashimi. One of my favourites. Trevally. And uh, there's a little look at how we eat on our retreats. Get in touch if you're keen for a bit of the goodness. And as we head into the tail end of autumn and into winter 2023, I'd like to invite you to Tairua to experience a taste of the ocean, put your feet on the earth and experience some good kai with us and uh, some amazing fishing. And if you like what you see here, get in touch on www.theprovider.co.nz. Thanks for watching. Thank you.